Hi, and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today with us, we have Lieutenant Christine Daly from the Belmont Police Department, and she's going to share some of the scam activities and update for our public safety. Welcome. Thank you, Maribel. So I know I've mentioned it before, but unfortunately, we're still seeing it. We've had a, a couple of contractors scam some residents. Um, we had uh, one contractor by the name of Cameron Building and Design. Uh, they were hired, he, that person was hired by two different residents. And unfortunately, we're seeing seniors being the victim. One, uh, one person, he, you know, it was to do a bathroom. He took more than a third. He took about almost, he asked for about half of the cost of the, of the job and he never showed up. And even though the resident kept calling and calling him, and they finally called us. And by the time we contacted the contractor, he's claiming that the, it was the customer who canceled the job and who uh, will be, uh, you know, be taking him to small claims court. Then we have another senior who hired him and hers was to do a back deck. Same thing. She, he asked for, for more than a third. He asked for about almost half the cost of the deck. And he then again, took a while, never showed up, never showed up. Uh, it was hard for her to get in touch with him. And then some gentlemen did show up claiming they worked for him and ripped off her deck. And then he never returned. And so again, she is out thousands of dollars herself. Another one we've seen is, so that was someone that they, they chose to hire. And so this person that they found out afterwards did not have a, a, a contractor's license. And he also never got building permits. So that should be a red flag. You always want someone with a contractor's license and who knows how to get building permits. Then we have a gentleman with an Irish brogue who claims to work for a home craft, home craft masonry who's been going door to door telling people they need work done in their house and that he will do it for a cost. So unfortunately, one gentleman is out about $10,000 because, again, the work was done very bad. But he also just recently in the Cushing Square area went to two residents' homes, um, literally one right after the other, again, knocking on the door, saying that he could do work uh, for them. And they both said no. Uh, but again, we want to say never, never try. Anyone who comes to your house and says you need work and offers to do work for your house, that's a scam right away. That's right. That's right. Good contractors won't be walking and knocking doors. And there's any other public safety update that you want to share? So then we also had a resident, and this was reported a couple of days ago, who received a call from Comcast, also known as Xfinity, claiming that they were working on a deal with Target and that if he bought $750 worth of Target gift cards, they would lower his uh, bill by $150 a month for six months, which obviously comes out to a little over $1,000. So he did this. He, they asked him to buy the Target gift cards and to give him the numbers on the back. And he did receive a text saying that he would get that discount. However, when he called the actual Target, I'm sorry, the actual Xfinity Comcast, um, they said, no, we're not having a deal like that. And you didn't speak to anyone in our company. So now he was out $750. We always like to try to tell people never, never pay anything with gift cards. Never trust all the scams. It's always a payment via gift cards, be it Target gift cards, Amazon gift cards. You never make a legitimate payment to any legitimate company with a gift card. That's right. That's right. Please be cautious on those. If it's too good to be true, it's because it's not true. Exactly. And then we also have another update on some crime. Activity. Yes, yes. Um, we had a Winter Street resident who someone attempted to steal uh, their scooter. Uh, the resident stated about 4.30 p.m. They looked outside and observed an individual in their driveway attempting to steal her husband's uh, classic mo motor scooter. What did make it difficult, I will say that helped, was that they had locked the handlebars. So the person had, what they were trying to do was going up their drive and they were just gonna turn it around and just you know, take it out. However, because it was locked, that delayed them a little bit. So they gave her enough time, she saw them and they started backing it out the driveway. And so when she yelled, ran outside and yelled at them, they jumped on the back of another type of um, motorcycle style by, uh, bike and drove off. And she gave the description um, 
of, let's see, is high school age black male wearing a black zip hoodie, a black face mask, black pants, and carrying a small black bag. And then she, again, she's one, you know, when she yelled at him, he, get, he got on the back of a black street bike style motorcycle driven by a large black man as having like dreadlocks and wearing a white t-shirt and jeans and was wearing a black helmet. They went up and headed towards route two and we're not exactly sure uh, where they went from there because officers did check the area. So if you have anything like a motor scooter, you know, please try to lock it, lock the handlebars, or if you can, don't keep it in plain view from the street because it's very easy to take something like that. They just walk up. If she hadn't been looking outside, it would have been, it would have been taken. Yeah. I'm glad um, she did. And also all the neighbors, please, if you see something, say something and help. Let's help each other. Exactly. Yes. Thank you, Lieutenant Daly, uh, for today. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. That was it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time.